Another new offering from Thrunite. This is the brand new T30S version two. This one goes up to 860 lumens, up from 650 from the original T30S, which I did not own. This one is lighter, brighter, and dimmer, a little bit longer and wider as well. Price on this is a very affordable $49.95. I'm always impressed with the amount of light you get for the money with Thrunite. I have a lot of lights that I've reviewed as, you know, check out my channel, Sunway Man, Phoenix, uh, Surefire, and there, there's some expensive lights, but with, with Thrunite, you know, I have a bunch of these, you really do get a lot of light for your money. I'm always impressed with the quality they put out uh, for the price. This one, $49.95, like I said, this is the new packaging. I like the new packaging, just kind of a standard cardboard box, nothing too fancy about it. Open it up and have a look. On the inside, some foam with the light, which we'll come back to in just a minute. Remove the foam, and down here is the instruction manual, which you can, of course, check out. And a little bit deeper down in there is the belt case. Belt case has both Velcro and a snap, depending on how you like to carry it. And then on the inside here, a couple things. There are some extra lanyard, or I said rather, some extra O-rings and a uh, tail button, and then inside, this is the lanyard. Lanyard you can clip on if you're a lanyard kind of guy. I'm a belt clip kind of guy myself, but some people like the lanyards. Anyway, so there you go. Here's the light, the Thrunite T30S version two. Two options for the LED with this light, a cool white and a neutral white, depending on what you like. I've had a couple of lights with the neutral light and I, it's kind of a nice change. It gives you a little bit more realistic color for what that's worth when you're outside, when, well, you're, when you're anywhere for that matter. But I like the neutral white, so pick which one you like. Two options there, same price, which is nice. Some of the lights charge, uh, some of the companies I have uh, charge extra for the uh, neutral white. Uses for this, this is a, they bill it as a tactical light. Good for uh, law enforcement, good for people that go into harm's way, as they say, but also great for having next to your bed, great for your go bag, great for camping, anything you like. It's a little bit big for putting in your pocket, but surprisingly, it's not actually that bad. I had it in my pocket for a little bit, It's kind of big. This is certainly bigger than anything I would carry, but if you're using the holster especially, might not be too bad for that. There's features on this, namely the strobe, which I'll get to, that generally I never use. I have no use for the strobe, and a lot of times it's just hard to get to, which is a big reason I wouldn't use it, but it's hard to get to on a lot of lights. You have to twist the head and piff some buttons. On this one, super simple to get to, which is a feature they've thrown into this. New idea that I've not seen on many other lights, really. Well, any other lights for that matter. But let me show you how this thing is made. On the back here, there is a tail cap. There's the button, which extends, of course, will not tail stand. And this button does both momentary and full on, and then you use this to alternate between the modes. Let me put some batteries in this so I can talk about that as well. On the inside here, just to show you taking it apart, the head comes off, the tail comes off, and then there's the battery tube. This takes two different types of batteries, CR123s and 18650s, depending on what your preference is. If you're gonna use the CR123s, they've included this battery tube, so you put that in there, and the batteries will fit in here and not rattle around like they would if they were just in there loose. Alternatively, if you like the 18650, you can use that without the tube. Fits right on in there. By the way, as long as we have this off, there's a cigar ring back here, which will come off if you like. And then the, the pocket clip here, you can also remove, depending on how you're gonna carry this and how you like to use it. So that's the head. We'll come back to the interface here in a minute. As I mentioned right here is the cigar ring. That helps to both keep it from rolling and then certainly if you want to use it for searching with a, you know, the cigar type method, you can do that. The pocket clip here is nicely designed. It goes over a nice smooth surface, so you're not going to have any underclip issues, which I appreciate. Some of the lights, they go over the knurling here, and when you put it into your pocket, it can get a little bit torn up. On this one, well thought out, they put that pocket clip right over a nice smooth surface. The Through Night logo there. On the other side, T30S version 2. There's the knurling here. As with every other light, this is made of aircraft grade aluminum. Type 3 hard anodized, it's you know, IPX8 rated, all the normal typical stuff for lights. 
On down here, there's a little ring right here, which I think probably if you didn't have the cigar ring or the pocket clip on, would help keep it from rolling. But in and of itself, uh, it might, it might not, depending on the, that tail button there, on the tail cap. But ring here, you can also use it to grip on too if you like. Down into the head, a little bit more knurling here. And then this bezel, if you're not, this bezel, you use it as a strike bezel, use it as a bezel to figure out if the light is on. But if you don't like the bezel, this bezel also comes off, whichever you prefer. They've built this to be kind of a light for cops or people like that, a tactical type light, which is where this bezel may come a little bit more in handy for that type of striking type purpose if you were needed it for that. Up into the front here, the XM L2 U2 emitter, deep down into that smooth reflector, as I mentioned, neutral white or cool white, whichever you prefer, and it will throw the beam rate a distance of 288 meters. My usual way to convert that is I just change the units meters into feet, which gives 288 feet as a just general useful distance for what you're gonna be able to see this with, uh, or see with this, about a football field or so. User interface on this. As I mentioned, this has a kind of a typical, but some different features built into the user interface. The tail button here is momentary by half pressing it or full press it and it stays on. Once it's on, you then use the side button here to cycle through the three modes, five lumens, 186 or 860. It'll do the five for 20 hours, seven hours for the 186 and 110 lumens for the 860 lumens. When it's on, if you long press the side button, it will go into the strobe, which is a variable strobe, fast, slow, and you can press it again and it'll go back into whatever mode you had. It does have mode memory, so if you turn it off on bright, it comes back on to bright. There you go, half press. The tail button on this, it's a fairly light press. Fairly light to get the momentary, and then to get it full on, it's actually a fairly light press to get it all the way on, unlike some of the lights that I have that you really have to push down into it to get it on. So that can be good and bad. If you're using this in a weapon type role, you don't necessarily want to click it on. So take that to note. Just press it nice and lightly to get it on so you don't accidentally click it all the way on. The other useful thing that they've put into this, I'm not one that I would ever use the strobe on a light. A lot of times because, well, first I don't really have a big use for using the strobe on people. But on a lot of lights, it's just hard to get to. It's a hidden mode on a lot of lights, which I actually like. But on a lot of other lights, you have to twist the head, press the button. Some hard, you know, it's a little bit difficult to get into it in some ways. On this, the ingenious thing they've built into this is that all you do is press the side button here and the strobe comes on. Momentary strobe. Which again, if you're using this as a cop or some you know, law enforcement tactical type role, that momentary strobe might actually be useful like that. Have your, your hand back here, you turn it on, or you just hit that strobe, nice and easy to get into. So while I'm not one to use that, I like the fact that they built it in and it's so easy to access that. Good job through night on that one. And uh, up here, forgot this, on the cigar ring, there's a little hole for the lanyard you can clip into it if you are so inclined. But otherwise, that is about it. Another great offering from Through Night, the T30S version two, very well priced at $49.95. I'll throw a link to Amazon in the, the show notes here. You can pick it up there as with all their other lights. Check this one out. T30S version two from Through Night.